negotiate. As I mentioned, the Freedom Caucus has criticized this budget deal. Heritage Action today was calling Boehner a rogue agent in doing this whole thing. And there's some discussion that this could actually hurt Ryan coming in. Do you see this deal hurting Ryan in any way? Oh, no, I don't, but I, I'm sure there will be those who will say that. And just the language, rogue agent, tells you something about the lack of civility that is going on in their caucus. I mean, we all come, this beautiful president for whom your, your university is named, the patriarch of our country, how great he was. And when he left office, he was suspicious of political parties. And one of the things that he cautioned against as he left office was uh, uh, to be aware of political parties that were at war with their own government. And I think we've come as close to that as ever with certain elements in the Republican Party. All of us come uh, to try to find common ground, to stand our ground when we can't. That's what we do. You, you try to find common ground. But to come and think that you have every idea that you have is the only good idea, well, Maybe a monarchy or something like that might be better for you, but that not respect anybody's opinion and be condescending of even those within your own party to the tune of using language like, what was it? Rogue agent. You said it. So, <laughs> I didn't say it, I just quoted it. <laughs> I just so let me it. ask you about, so, so you have what you just talked about, that dynamic and John Boehner is leaving and all the tumult over the next House Speaker that followed. We have Donald Trump and Ben Carson out on the campaign trail, galloping away with support in the Republican Party. Bernie Sanders, who is definitely an uncandidate in many ways, a Democratic Socialist with serious numbers um, on, the, on the Democratic side. You've been in politics for almost 50. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> I mean, is, just, is America mad, confused, alienated? Are you guys just getting it? terribly mucked up? No, oh, I, I think that elections are always about the future. So whatever it is that somebody might be unhappy about, they want to see what is there for the future. And there's absolutely no question that, that as we look to the future, we have to see a, a path that takes us to uh, ending a lot of the inequality in our system. Uh, the, the Do you think that's what this is about? Fairness this is and anger opportunity. Over, this is but anger over inequality? I think it's anger over the fact that paychecks have not increased for decades, the, the, the purchasing power of middle class paychecks has not increased. Uh, the aspirations and hopes that people have for their children, their education, uh, uh, their, their families, the, the pension security of parents so that they're freer to invest in their children, the uh, security of retirement security of seniors so that parents can look to their kids rather than having to take care of their seniors, it's all connected. 